In this module, module 23, we're going to talk about counters. So we can use finite state machines to build counters. So first of all, we're going to talk about well, what are they and what do we use them for? And then we'll go through an example imp implementation of using an FSM to design a counter. So first of all, what is a counter and what do we use them for? A counter is something that counts. So for example, our watches, like a digital watch, you can see the seconds tick 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 59, and it goes back to 0. So that's a counter. So there's a counter in your watch or your, or your smartphone that's, um, that's doing that. And so what happens is the, at each clock edge, the count increments. So let's suppose we want to build a counter that um, is a 3-bit counter. So let's suppose we want it to count from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 1 to 0, 1, 0, dot, 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 to 1, 1, 1, and then it goes back. Okay, so we'll use an FSM to, to build this. And it you know, almost looks like a state transition diagram there already. So we'll go through these steps that we always do with our FSM designs. We'll start by identifying the inputs and outputs. So here we have our FSM black box. We always have clock and reset inputs. And then this is an interesting example of an FSM because it actually doesn't have any other inputs. It just counts. Once we reset it at each clock edge, it's going to increment its count. And so its output, we can call it the count output or Q or whatever. We'll just call it count. In this case, we have a 3-bit count value that we want to increment at each clock edge. So now we'll draw the state transition diagram. So the 0, 0, 0 state, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. And this is basically a modulo 8 counter. So that means it will never get to 8. It will then go back to 0. So 0 to 7 and back to 0. So our clocks, for example, are the seconds are modulo, modulo 60. So they go from 0 to 59 and then back to 0. So they're modulo 60. Remember to always have our reset inputs. So when reset asserts, it starts at the 0, 0, 0 state. Okay, next step is to draw the state transition table. And so we're going to do something where, well, these are our outputs. We're going to assign our states to those values just to make the output logic very easy. So we'll basically output our state bits as the outputs for our FSM. So that is count bit 2 is going to be the same as state bit 2. Count sub 1 is going to be the same as state bit 1. Count 0 is the same as state bit 0. Just to make our output logic easy. Okay, so current state, inputs, well we don't have any inputs on this one, and next state. So if the current state, I'm going to go directly to the encoded table just because it makes sense in this case. Because I've named them. The encodings we're going to use is 0, 0, 0 state, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We don't have any inputs on our transitions, so we'll just have one row for each state. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. You can draw that line there if you want. We don't have any inputs. And our, if we're in the 0, 0, 0 state, on the next clock edge, we should go to the 0, 0, 1 state, and so forth. Okay, and we could go ahead and draw our output table if we want to. Current state on the left, and outputs on the right. We called it the count output. And the current state bits has 2 to 0. Count output has 3 bits too. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 
one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero and one 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 and our count bits are just going to be exactly the same as our state bits because that's the way we've encoded our states And so, just as we showed before, count bit 2 is equal to s, state bit 2. Count 1, state 1, and count 0, state bit 0. And now we can use our state transition table to write our next state equations and implement our circuit.